one. Everything blacked out for a second. I blinked my eyes to see who was that. He was Jay. I opened my mouth to say something, but before I could utter a word, the young punched him on his nose. He fell on the ground and his nose started bleeding. The young was about to hit him again when I rushed to him and stopped him by holding his hand tightly. The young, I will kill you. He shouted loudly. Jay stood up holding his nose with his hand to stop bleeding. Jay, I knew it, you bitch. I knew you have an affair. And you, mister, she's my wife. She's not trustworthy. Why? Jay, stop it. I said in a weak voice because my co-workers and some customers were watching this all drama. Tears were streaming on my face. Jay, today no one can save you from my hands. I will kill you. You thankless witch. Taeyong again punched his face, which made Jay's lips bleed. Taeyong's face was extremely red because of anger. Jay got angry on Taeyong. He rushed to hit Taeyong when Taeyong held his hand and pushed him away. I couldn't tolerate more embarrassment, so I walked out of store. I walked fast while wiping my tears, but soon I fell on my knees on the street. I hide my face and hands. How he can humiliate me in front of anyone? I agree it's not a normal marriage, but still, he have no right to do this. I was sobbing, hiding my face in my hands, when I felt someone's hand on my right shoulder. I raised my head to see who was there. Taeyong was sitting in front of me. Once again, a new batch of tears started rolling on my face. Why? I am, I am sorry, because of me he created a huge scene. Taeyong get up and come with me he said in low voice why please leave me alone if he sees you again with me he will again create a scene and today's embarrassment was enough for me to die Taeyong, i said get up and come with me i don't like repeating myself why mr Taeyong, please leave me alone he held my arm and got up he made me stand by pulling my arm he walked some steps holding my hand and stopped near a luxurious car. Driver came out and opened the car's door. Taeyong, get in. Wan, no, you can go your way. He said nothing but pushed me inside the car. I tried to get out of car but he locked the door. He went the other side of the car and sat beside me. As soon as he said, driver started driving the car. Within some minutes, the car entered in his mansion. Why he took me here? car stopped and he stepped out of car. He opened my side door. I didn't move so he held my arm and pulled me out. He took me inside his mansion and told a maid to bring a glass of water in his bedroom. He took me into his bedroom. My heart started beating fast. Why is taking me into his bedroom? He closed the bedroom door and left my arm. Damn, you can live here. Why? Why I would live in your bedroom? This thing make no sense. Taeyong, don't argue. I'll not be in the city for the next two days. You can live here. Why? Thank you for your offer, but I don't want to live here. Taeyong, why? Do you want to go to your abusive husband? Do you love him that much? Why? It's not your headache if I love him or not. Taeyong, I have already told you I hate repeating myself. And yeah, for your so-called husband, I'll teach him a good lesson. Why? Why? Who you are to teach him lesson? I apologize to you for his behavior, Taeyong. Enough for now. I have to go somewhere out of city. Don't try to waste your energy when I am not here. Because my guards will not let you go anywhere without my permission. So live comfortably here when I am not here. Without listening any other word, he left the room. As he left the room, a lady came in with a glass of water and some food. She kept everything on the table and was about to leave when I called her. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a minute? Lady, yes ma'am. Wyan, what's your name? Lady, I am Emma. Do you need something else ma'am? Wyan, no, no, I don't need anything. Can you help me to go my home? Emma, I am sorry ma'am. No one can help you in this thing. Because if boss find that you left this house, he will kill us all. Wyan, what? Why he will kill you all? And why you are so scared of him? Emma, are you not scared of master? Why? Why would I scared of him? Emma. Every single person who know him is scared of him. He is the most dangerous mafia. Why? A mafia leader? Emma. 
Ma'am, I should go now. If you need anything, just tell me. She left the room. I remember how he was injured and was behaving like nothing happened to him. So that's why he was not going to hospital. I can't live with a mafia leader. What if he will kill me? I don't want to die like this. Is he mad at me? I think he is. That's why he took me here. God, please save me. After thinking for some time, I felt hungry. I sat on the sofa and ate whatever was on the table. Food was delicious. I was feeling tired and sleepy, so I went to bed. But as soon as I laid on bed, a strong fragrance filled my nostrils. It was the young's perfume's fragrance. I touched the bed spread with my hand. Because of his fragrance, it was feeling like he was with me on bed. I tried to ignore everything because I wanted to sleep. Soon, I was lost in my dreamland. After two days. I went back home after finishing my work in other city. I reached home and went to my bedroom. I opened the door to see her but she wasn't in room. I walked inside the room. She wasn't in the room. I was about to go when she came out of washroom. She wasn't wearing her clothes. Just a towel was wrapped around her body. Her hair were wet. My heart skipped a beat after looking at her like this. My mind started imagining naughty things with her. I came back in reality when I heard her scream. She turned and rushed to washroom but she forgot to open the door and bumped her head on the door. I ran to her to see if she is fine but when I went close to her she turned to me. I was so close to her so when she turned around she bumped in my chest. Suddenly she stepped back. She was about to again bump in door when I wrapped my arms around her waist. When he wrapped his arms around me. My heart stopped for a second but next second it was beating on extreme high speed. I never went so close to a man in my life. He was so close to me. I could feel his breath on my face. We both were looking in each other's eyes. Slowly he started moving his face close to my face. I closed my eyes. He was so close to my face when someone knocked the door. We both came in our senses. I pushed him away and ran inside bathroom. I had nothing to wear in bathroom so I waited for him to leave the room. But within two minutes he knocked the door. Wine, yes, Tayong. Here, take these clothes. I opened the door a little and took clothes from his hands. When I looked at the price tag, my eyes got bigger. They were so expensive and branded. I had no other choice, so I put them on and went outside the washroom. He wasn't in the room. I looked myself in the mirror. The dress was a floral gown. It wasn't revealing at all. I was looking gorgeous to myself. Maybe because of expensive clothes? After looking myself, I went downstairs. He was sitting on a couch. Why? Mr. Tayong, please let me go. I don't want to live here anymore. Tayong, fine. I'll take you home at night. I went back in bedroom. I laid on bed and closed my eyes. Everything what happened some minutes ago repeated in my eyes. I agree he is handsome. He is the model type but still he is a mafia leader. Tayong, after looking her in towel, I wanted to do it with her. I'm not an easy person. I rejected many girls but why my heart want her even she's married i want her to keep her with me she's someone else's wife and i can't force her to live with me i'll let her go because if she will live with me my enemies will try to harm her which i never let happen it's good for her to live without me at night when i was sitting in a room when he came the young driver will drop you your house when what do you mean driver will drop me the driver took me here the young then what do you want you want me to come with you when? Yes, of course, you bring me here. And now after two days, when I'll go back, will he accept me? Tayong. If I'll come with you, then will he accept you? Why? You will explain him everything. You will tell him there's nothing between us. Tayong. Fine. Come. He walked out of room and I followed him. After some time, we were in front of Jay. He was looking at me like he will kill me. Why? Jay. It's not what you are thinking. I can explain. Jay. I trust you, Wyan. I looked at Tayong in confusion. He was standing silently. Tayong, everything is fine now. I should go, Wyan. Thank you, Mr. Tayong. Tayong nodded his head and left. I went to see him out. I came back today. He was sitting on couch. I was about to go in my room when he came and held my hand. Wyan, what are you doing? Leave my hand. Jay, oh, you are still running away from me. Now I know what kind of girl you are. So don't play innocent. Wyan, what do you mean? What kind of girl I am? Jay, I know you spend nights with him. I can tell he is rich by his looks and I agree he is more handsome than me. But trust me, I am good and bad. Just try me once. I pulled my hand back and went inside my room. I locked the room and threw myself on bed. 
but then he came inside my room i got out of bed in shock why how did you come in j with the help of this he raised his hand to show me a key why j leave my room right now j today no one can save you my wifey in fact i'm your husband when you can do it with him then why i can't have fun with you why j there is nothing between him and me j i don't care about this now don't waste time come to me baby girl he opened his arms and smiled disgustingly why j i don't want to live with you anymore we will finish this contract marriage tomorrow j okay as you wish but let's celebrate our last night together he started walking towards me my mind wasn't working what i should do i can't let him do what he want he came close to me and touched my face with his fingers j i promise i'll not disappoint you he moved his face close to mine to kiss but i pushed him and ran out of room but he was fast he got me within seconds he threw me on bed and came on me i was struggling but he pinned my hands above my head then with one hand he ripped my gown from shoulder i was screaming and yelling for help but no one was in house to help me tayong i was on my way back home when i saw a shopping bag in car it was wayans in that bag she put her clothes which she was wearing when i took her with me i took a u turn to go to her house to return her clothes wayan my body was drenched in sweat and tears were absorbing in my hair i was trying to push him but i couldn't he ripped the other shoulder of my gown i screamed as loud as i can my heart was hurting and then he put his lips on my neck